What's up, guys? It's your boy, Aki. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. And I know you see the Lakers hat. Yes, we will be back. And yes, Kobe Bryant is returning. Um, but on to the video. What I want to talk to you guys about today is taking risks and, you know, the benefits of taking risks and the cons of taking risks. So basically, there's one thing that's 100% sure uh, in life, and that is we all are not going to make it. <laughs> So um, that's a good thing and it's a bad thing in that it gives you the liberty, the freedom, and basically just the overall, uh, I guess you could say, uh, ballsiness, I guess you could say, um, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a, you know, a real estate investor to take risk. Now, honestly, I'm not telling you to put all your eggs in one basket. I'm not telling you to go out there and spend money you don't have. But when you are trying out new things in business, it is imperative. Um, and quite frankly, um, any good investor will tell you that there should be a portion of your profits that you should be uh, uh, putting towards experimentation as well as uh, development. And um, there should be funds that you should, quite frankly, have out there that's petty cash and that you can use towards uh, the growth of your business. Because let's be, let's be honest, uh, the way that you make money um, and the way that you gain massive reward is by taking some sort of risk now the what I'm doing right now what I'm talking about overall is just uh, going into some marketing streams that um, have that I haven't done before but that I've seen other people um, have great success with um, from the past seminar that I went to and um, that you know not a lot of people are doing nowadays um, and, and it's very important that you really uh, deep dive deep into um, taking your profits um, and investing in yourself. But not only that, but also towards experimentation and also towards you know growth. So what I've been doing is I've uh, recently uh, I've been talking about it for a while, but I recently just went ahead and pulled the trigger on uh, you know getting somebody on my team that is not only able to help me with administrative tasks but also able to help at help out with a number of things with organization and um, this is a person that I'm gonna um, deem as you know an admin slash lead manager and it's somebody that's gonna be taking you know a lot of the calls or most of the calls all the calls that I have coming in inbound and screening those not only for uh, you know um, motivation but also for just uh, um, you know whether or not we can do anything with them at all so that's that's one risk I've, I've taken um, and I this I got from this uh, seminar that I went to last week at the final flip summit which was um, you know do one thing that scares you every day now quite frankly this week I have been you know a little bit more lax a days ago I have been digesting everything that happened this past week and you know really strategizing and thinking about what it is that I want to do this year um, because I know that the goal is a hundred thousand dollars um, but just different ways to do this more efficiently and different ways to do the marketing in a way that is cost effective um, and you know outsourcing and finding people that can do something quite frankly just better than me because I'm not the most organized guy a lot of people that are uh, you know looking to do new things, aren't very organized, looking to uh, do highly effective, uh, just logistical problems, aren't the most organized people. But, you know, I, I consider myself a thinker and I consider myself somebody that can process things and just, like for instance, I have a thousand sticky notes all over my workspace. Um, I just have ideas popping out of my brain, left to right, things I got to do. And if I don't have this stuff organized, I don't get anything done or at least not in an effective manner. So this is going to be a person that's going to help me with tasks like that. So one thing I urge you to do um, if you're um, an investor or an entrepreneur is to, you know, really focus down on what you're good at and finding somebody or finding a time where you can, you know, get those smaller things done the day-to-day -day things and but they're very necessary but just focus on the high ticket items and uh, you know take risks as far as um, going towards growth and spending those extra uh, hundred dollars 
um, and you know into employees or just um, tasks that you know that that take up a lot of time but aren't that aren't that those things that you need to be focusing on so yeah man that's all I got for this one guys um, you know risk you know weigh in the risk weigh in the reward and stop doing those things that you know you can easily hire somebody um, you know a couple of dollars an hour for or uh, I mean this was kind of a rant so um, get ready to do a little bit more work go watch a Super Bowl and um, you know start planning my week so hope you guys enjoy the video like comment subscribe and talk to you guys later peace